June 2015, over 600 delegates gathered in Manchester as the Graphene flagship brought Graphene Week back to the city where the promising new material was discovered about 10 years ago. With 90 expert sessions covering over 15 topics on graphene and 2D materials and over 350 poster presentations, the five-day conference showed that the interest in graphene and other 2D materials is bigger than ever. It is one of the most uh, uh, fast advancing fields uh, at the moment. We had a lot of interesting talk and uh, we got to meet a lot of people. Some of those uh, we, uh, we heard of, uh, read it in the paper and then we can sit down here and discuss with them. A fantastic idea and exchange. I think it's a good, yeah, very good. We are now able to produce with an industrial tool uh, graphene sheets up to a size of 300 millimeter worth of size. So we are really not far from the industrial expectation of, of this material. Besides being a meeting point for scientists and industry, Graphene Week 2015 also brought the latest advances to the public in a recording of the BBC radio show The Forum before a live audience at Manchester University. And in fact, we bought Kitchen Blender for 39.99 in Argos. <laughs> um, and we put some graphite in, some water, and some dishwashing liquid. And within half an hour, I guess, we had made large quantities of graphene. And it really is that simple. The Graphene flagship also launched the initiative of Women in Graphene, a forum to exchange experiences and actively improve working conditions and career opportunities of female scientists. In this project we have 10 years ahead, so we may have a plan and we can implement that plan without being in a hurry. So I think that really Graphene can do very much on the flagship can do very much about the, the, the status of uh, women in science. Accompanied by local composer Sarah Lowe's newly written musical piece that was inspired by graphing research and had its premiere during Graphing Week, Manchester opened its doors to some of its most impressive sites like the Gothic-style Town Hall and Manchester United's Old Trafford football stadium. And after closing a week full of scientific discussions, meetings, exchanging of ideas and fun, the Graphene flagship, still in the very beginning of its journey, sails on to new adventures. I would really like that in 10 years' time, people can start to realize that this effort that we have put, this money that we spent, this huge effort in terms of personal time that we're putting into this has been useful for something and there really some devices are coming to, uh, the, uh, to light, especially in European companies. My dream would be that at the end or maybe before the end of this project we only managed to, to produce a, a system, a battery or a super cap or a PV solar cell having uh, outstanding properties and uh, really to be able to industrialize this product, that's for sure.